Mono Evolution Team AF Blaze representing once again. Oh man, this guy is like the legend of Fan Fridays, and it's going up against another Evolution team. This is like the most super EV hype ever, and it's AF Blaze and it's triples and the madness. Let's let's just go straight into this. So another massively upvoted comment. Like people see, I I personally look for AF Blaze if I haven't seen him like on Fan Fridays a lot of like. Let's go and get people hyped with an AF Blaze battle. And here we go. So, Sylveon in the center for us versus the Espeon. That magic bounce could get a little interesting and it could be going for all kinds of setup. So, that's going to be the light screen keeping safe against, well, Sylveon and Jolteon right there. And then Jolteon with the round. Okay, so Jolteon's going to be faster with that round. And then Sylveon's going to get a boosted Pixelate round. And that is absolutely going to dunk right The critical hit was not necessary, guys. Come on, we already knew that that was enough damage to KO right there. And Eevee is going to round as well. How much damage is that going to do? I was hoping for a little more. I mean, the adaptability is really strong. And he went for the Will-O-Wisp onto the Eevee. Maybe it was Curse Last Resort. But no, this is just triple round. Let's, let's all gather round and round the round to win through just craziness right there. And now we get to see that that's going to be the Sylveon in response. Jolteon with a detect, so going to go for a little bit of protective play against the potential other... Jo oh, okay. Protect all around. Let's let's round around and go for the protects. And then the Shadow Ball, so Jolteon's going to protect from that. The Yawn is going to be protected, and Eevee is setting up a sunny day. You go, Eevee. I don't know what you're up to, but you go. <laughs> don't let anyone dull your sparkle. And then we're going to see all kinds of protections right there. So Jolteon going to be hurt by the burn at the end turn. Eevee getting hurt from that Will-O-Wisp. And now we watch the just more and more craziness. So Quick Claw on the Flareon is pretty interesting. Sylveon is going to switch out there. I like the initial rounding, but we're going into Flareon. Going to absorb that Moonblast pretty well is what it looks like. And Eevee is actually protecting this turn as well. So Eevee's going to protect. I mean, setting up that sun for the Flareon could get pretty nice, but Flareon switching in to get drowsy. Jolteon's going to Thunderbolt, and that is going to do very little. Because Light Screen plus a huge Special Defensive Tank. The Shadow Ball from the opposing Jolteon going to drop the Special Defense, get a little bit of damage in there. And there's the Moon Blast. Actually, that was headed for Jolteon, so Jolteon going to be going down this turn. All right. Now we just get to watch. I'm, I'm waiting for that magic happen, man. What's the point of all the sun? Where's the craziness? There's... Oh, man. Nice switching, actually, with a yawn. You got that poison orb, so now you can't fall asleep, so the yawn doesn't do anything. And there it is. Full evolution team. Chlorophyll. And he's got the helping hand as well. So, ready to help for the fun. And there's a bite. So, bite on the Flareon. Decent little bit of damage, going to get the knockoff with that Leafeon, big damage onto the Jolteon, and there's another Shadow Ball, so committing to the pretty solid hit right there, and there's a Flare Blitz from the Flareon, so boom, how much damage is that going to do to Sylveon? That will KO the power of Flare Blitz, man, just Flareon, it's actually a really powerful Pokemon. But the Poison Orb going to start adding up after this, and we're going to watch the rest of this play out. So, we know that Leafeon can finish on the Jolteon pretty hard, and now we are going into the Vaporeon, which has a solid matchup against Flareon. Flareon's going to switch out in this case, and then we're going back into the Sylveon. So, the round intro is pretty cr crazy enough, and now Eevee just kind of playing it safe, has the sun for that Chlorophyll, and it just does whatever it needs to. So that's Protect on the Vaporeon side. Oh, Vaporeon playing it safe, just kind of scouting that out. There's the Leaf Blade onto the Jolteon. That kind of works, yeah. If you have the Vaporeon, the Leaf Blade could have been headed for that, but good prediction by F Blaze, just to make sure that that was it. And now, we wait. So we're going to watch the last one come in. That is going to be the Umbreon. Umbreon doesn't like that matchup. Sylveon gets to really hurt it a lot. So, Sylveon's ready to be helped. Leafeon is going to protect against the potential Flareon. And are we going to just see Hyper Voice or something? So, Toxic on Sylveon. Going to get a little bit of that poison damage in there. And the fun's going to begin soon. There's Sylveon with the Hyper Voice. How dunked. Not as dunked as I expected, actually. 
uh, critical hit even in one of those. Wow, I can't read Japanese, so I don't know who was crit or not. But yeah, the Umbreon being super tanky in that situation, and that's going to be the wish. So, going to start playing in that. Sunlight's going to fade, and a little bit of momentum slow right there, but Leafeon still puts on a lot of pressure. The Umbreon, it only got in a little bit of Toxic, so the rest of the damage isn't there. Like, it's the more bulkier Pokemon, except for the Flareon throwing out damage. Flareon's kind of being kept down right there. That's going to be a Protect on the Umbreon, and Protect on the Vaporeon. And that's going to be Leafeon moving the center. So using that to just kind of make that switch play around. Eevee is going to throw out the round as well. Just to kind of get enough damage to finish off the Flareon. Which ends up working out right there. So making use of the turns. And that's going to be a little... Oh yeah, the Wish. I was about to say a little bit. No, that's, that's full heal from that Wish right there. And now it's just going to be Umbreon and Vaporeon. Eevee though, eating that burn damage up. And now Eevee's going to use that Helping Hand. So... Helping Hand, protect. wait, did it use Protect? Yeah. Sunny Day, and then just the round. So, fun stuff. That's going to be the Devastation Leaf Blade right there. He already used Protect. He's not safe anymore. And the one-shot is real after that Helping Hand. But, that's Umbreon. He's trying to keep alive with that Wish as well. But the Hyper Voice might be just a little too much right there. Especially now that the damage isn't going to be split. And that is going to be the Evolution Domination right there. Huh. It's kind of like what it's kind of like that thing. What are the odds? What are the odds to have a random free battle turn into triple evolutions? Fun stuff. So, if you guys enjoyed, fan. Just kidding. Ave Play submitted another one. So, evolutions versus a non evolution this time. And I, I kind of had to do that. In the comments, Ave Play said he wanted me to check out both of the battles. And if I could fake him out even for that half second by acting like Fan Fry is going to end, it was worth it. So Jolteon, Umbreon, and Sylveon are going to be in this one. And w I wonder how this strategy is going to change up against Talonflame, Espeon in the center again, and then the uh, Toxicroak. Toxicroak is actually going to be really nasty for the Sylveon. So playing that double protect game is going to be pretty solid right there. That's the fake out. Sylveon's going to protect from that. Talonflame's going to Brave Bird. Jolteon protects from that. And what we are seeing here is an excellent usage of prediction. So the Dazzling Gleam in the center. Umbreon, that split damage on the non-stab, not high base power is pretty crazy. And the foul play on Toxicroak, not very effective, trying to get some damage in there. Didn't work out as well as planned, and that's going to be a withdrawal on the Toxicroak. Interestingly enough, and going into the Aerodactyl. So that's going to be Brave Bird right there, so Talonflame trying to just get that damage across in some way, and it will be the Brave Bird on to Jolteon 4. Critical hit, not very effective, not enough to KO. Jolteon is burned though, and there's the round. All right, so round on to Talonflame. A little bit of damage, but now we watch the damage amp up. There's the round on to the Aerodactyl. My goodness. Yeah, round is that powerful, so we just see the Sylveon. Second round, you, you pixelate that into shenanigans on the triples. And the round is so cool. This is so cool to see right there. And Umbreon still got that foul play. So foul play. This time, it's going to be on Talonflame. A little bit of round damage counts, you know. You round it, you foul play, and boom. Suddenly, the opponent loses two Pokemon. Jolteon is still alive. Uh, Espeon's going for the Calm Mind, which is a bit scary. But now it's just Toxicroak and Garchomp left. And the other Pokemon, of course. But yeah, this is pretty nice. So Jolteon's going to switch out, saving him for when he's needed. And not like going up against Garchomp and Junk. So that's going to be Glaceon coming in. Hey, he's going to work out pretty well. And you don't want to keep in Sylveon against the Toxic Croak. So that's going to be Vaporeon's job to be a massive tank of filth. Toxic Croak comes down the fake out. Doesn't matter because Vaporeon gave up its turn by switching anyways. Poison Touch, though, is going to kind of suck a bit. And now we get to wait for the rest of this. So Toxic Croak's going to lose from that Life Orb. Dazzling Gleam. Trying to do more damage to the Umbreon. After that Calm Mind, still a nice little hit. Garchomp's going to go for that Dragon Claw. Wow, the Umbreon focus is real, but Umbreon is such a man and survives it. And there's the Rocky Helmet into the Foul... Oh, actually, female, so that Umbreon's being a woman. Just massive amounts of power right there. The Rocky Helmet also shows a defensive attitude with that high special defense. Garchomp taking a little bit of chip damage, which could add up over time. Vaporeon taking a little bit of poison, though, which is setting it back. And Umbreon going to switch out, because... The opponent's uh, focus is going to be easy going into the Espeon of our own. 
And Glaceon's got the Blizzard. Espeon's gonna avoid it, but that doesn't matter because it's all about hitting Garchomp. And Garchomp gets dunked. So Espeon would have gone down to that, which would have been nice, but eh, can't always get what we want. That's a pretty low accuracy move. And there's the Psychic. After the Calm Mind boost, critical hit, Glaceon will go down. So Toxic Croak is also going to get that Drain Punch. Eh, wow. For resisted hit. I'll Wow, the opponent is getting crit city as well. I was about to say for resisted hit, that should not have done that much. And the poison touch, wow, the the luck is on the opponent's side right now. Now this is starting to get interesting. So Vaporeon's got the ice beam, going to hit Toxic Croak and slam another crit. Oh, did the game get reprogrammed overnight? Was I not paying attention? Is there a patch where it's like 50% ch crit chance? This is crazy. So Espeon's hurt by the poison. Vaporeon, hurt by the poison. Also, Poison Touch went to 100% apparently. I don't know. And Nine Tails for the opponent. So we're we're down to the opponent's final Pokemon right here. And then Sylveon's going to be the one coming in. So we're going to see how this matchup ends up going. Now, Sylveon doesn't hit Nine Tails too hard. The Espeon is in a very vulnerable state. And Toxicroak's out there doing his thing. But Sylveon is going to protect as we watch the rest of this happen. And the protection animation plus the sun and triples. Very laggy. So that's Shadow Ball onto the Aspion. Uh, that's an outspeed. That's a super effective KO right there. And if Sylveon goes unfocused, maybe the Protect was not necessary. Heat Wave. Yeah, I guess Sylveon could go without that damage. And there's the Drain Punch onto Vaporeon. Vaporeon taking a nice little hit right there. Toxic Croak healing up, healing up a good amount. But what is Vaporeon going to do about that? So there's the, there's the Life Orb. Is that Life Orb damage going to cost Toxic Croak? Toxic Croak does go down and. This Espeon, though, just been hanging in there almost. Like, low health, still has that plus one thrown on the Calm Mind. Now Vaporeon, though, will have to get hit at some point. And losing damage to that Poison, though. And in comes the Umbreon. So Umbreon's in now. I guess you can go for that Protect play, but the Dazzling Gleam's already hitting so much. So there's the Quick Claw, Dazzling Gleam. The damage is real onto the Umbreon, finishing off the Vaporeon as well. So now Sylveon's like, fine. You want to do that you want to hit pokemon hard you want to be i don't know i've taken that a little too far anyway nine tails is going to heat wave but even under the sun sylveon has enough special defense to survive it and it throws out the hyper voice so espeon going to go down finally but the not very effective hit onto nine tails is pretty legit and then jolteon remember the jolteon we saved well he's back and he has the round so the round onto Ninetales going to be a little bit of damage right there. But here's the craziness about round. It causes you to move immediately after that Pokemon. So the Jolteon with the super fastness actually gets the outspeed. Causes the outspeed with Sylveon right there. And then the boosted damage is enough to fight the not very effective hit. And oh my goodness that came way too close. But it worked out. Yeah, I didn't really mention that earlier, did I, about like the, the way the round works. So you have the super fast Pokemon using it initially, and then you have the Sylveon follow-up for ridiculous amounts of damage, and it works out really well. So if you guys enjoyed the battle, oh my goodness, the shenanigans were real. AF Blaze, Mono Evolutions, the king of Mono-type teams, the king of triples, has graced us again for fan fry. So if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys enjoy your week, enjoy your weekend, have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.